Hello my friends, this is Eric Merritt at Hivewire3D and in this video we're going to learn how to install Poser content from Hivewire um, into Poser. So well, let's use the Don files that you get for free when you download Don. And there are six files to choose from. Three are Poser files and three are Studio files. Well, if we're just worried about Poser, just grab the ones with the PSR.zip on the end. So we've got three files. And if we, on a Mac, if you double click on a zip file, it will use the archive utility. Um, you can also use the archive utility by saying open with archive utility and it'll do the same thing. But we'll notice inside of the zip that you get, you've got a couple folders here. You get the EULA, which tells you how you can use the content, meaning legally how you can use it. And then you've got runtime and templates in this specific zip. And let's go to our poser content um, directory and that is um, uh, under users for me it's under users shared and then I've got my Poser Pro 2014 content and I've got a runtime there as well um, if I go into the runtime you'll notice I've got a couple common directories geometries and libraries geometries and libraries over here and the idea of installing content is you've got files in all these different directories that Poser is looking um, for and they've got to be in specific places, so we want to take this stuff and put it over here in this one. Well, we don't have Hivewire in this list, but we've all got all this other stuff in the list. So if I just tried to drag, say, for instance, Runtime over here, and on the Windows machine you can merge them, but in this case, on the Mac, if I do this, you get this warning, and it's trying to copy them. It says a newer item named Runtime already exists in this location. Do you want to replace it? With the older one, you're moving. No, I don't want to replace it because I want all that existing content that's already there. So I'm going to stop that and scratch my head for a minute and go, well, dang, how am I going to do this? Now, you can always just drag them one at a time, anything that's unique. So I can drag Hivewire and drag it into geometries, and that would let me do it. I'm not going to override anything unless I already have some Hivewire content. And then you've got the same issue as you just did with the runtime directory. So not a good solution. So what I'm going to show you here is a little utility um, also by Smith Micro called Stuff It Expander. Um, so go to Products and we're going to go to Stuff It Expander for Mac and it is only uh, available for 10.5 or higher. Um, so if you don't have uh, OS X 10.5 or higher uh, you might want to upgrade because this is a sweet way to do it and it makes it really easy. So hit download and then it's going to ask you for your email address type that in and then download and after it after you download and install stuff at expander you get another option when you right click on a zip file oops not move to trash you get this stuff at expander um, option so I'm going to click on that it's going to open up stuff at expander and give me a dialog box that asks me where I want to put this content. So I'm going to go find that same location we were just looking at in Users, Shared, Poser Pro Content. Um, and I'm not going to select Runtime because I've got a Runtime folder inside of my zip, right? So what I want to do is merge that Runtime in the zip with this Runtime. So make sure you select the, the folder containing the Runtime folder. So that would be this one. And select Open. And now you get an option. An item or items in this destination conflict with the contents of the archive folder being expanded. The archive contents can be merged with the conflicting items or renamed. We don't want to rename it. What we'd like to do now is merge. So Stuff It offers that option that we didn't have before. All right. So you'll see a couple other folders come up over here. But look what happened. Now we have that templates folder alongside of it. If we go into geometries and we scroll down to H, we see the Hivewire 3D folder, and then we've got all the Dawn assets right in there. So it did a nice job of that. Now we've got a couple other folders, or a couple of those zips that we want to do the same thing with, right? And we can do that each time. Open with Stuff at Expander. It'll reopen it up and ask you for that destination. Or we can do it another way, and that is we can go grab Let's go open up the uh, application itself. Let's go down and get stuff it. 
Where's it at? Stuff it. Expander. We can open that up. And um, let's go back, get this back to the shared. And right here. And now what I can do is grab these remaining two and drop it on there, and it'll do them both once. It's going to give us dialog boxes for both of them, but yes, this is the location again. Open, and I'm going to merge. Now it's going to give me, um, it's going to tell me that I've already got the, the EULA text, TXT file in there, and we can just apply that to all and say skip. We don't care to overwrite that at this point. So now it's done both of them with one drop. So if you have a lot of zips, this is a handy way to do it. Okay, now it's installed both of those, or the remaining zip files. All right, now we should be able to go and look inside of Poser. And if you'll remember, we installed in the Poser Pro 2014 content library. If you have multiple libraries uh, mapped, then you want to make sure you pick the right one, which was this one. And we'll scroll down and you see Hive Wire is right there. Expand that, and then you have your Dawn content right there. If you have clothing items you just installed, which we just did, bikini, etc., then you'll find that stuff right there. Now double-click on that and load them up. Um, if you don't see it right away, you may have to hit this little refresh button. If, for instance, if Poser was open while you installed, you may have to hit the refresh, and then you'll be able to see the HiveWire folder. And that's it. Happy installing, and happy posing. Bye.